Hello Gemini! Welcome to your beginning of November read for this current year. Yay! I hope y'all are doing well. Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. You just boop your nose and away it goes. Or it'll come back and fuck you up for a day. I don't know. I would say, when it comes to the Gemini, you guys are absolutely, like, fucking fun. But you guys are terrifying, because I don't know what the fuck you guys are capable of. Oh my goodness. Alright, what you got? Temple of my body. Somebody, Virgo had this for their bonus, if I remember correctly. Let's see. What number are you, too? Oh, of course you're right where I have to... Okay, never mind. Shut up. Right. Temple of my body. Moon phase. First quarter. The stage is depression. I also like the stages of death. Anger. Um, bargaining. Oh, God. What? Let's, oh, denial. Bargaining. Anger. Depression. And then acceptance. That's what it is. Okay, my bad. Um, I feel I am not worth enough. Visual seed. A succubus-like creature with claws resembling nails holds a very thin silver chain. And dependent on it appears like a crimson tear of blood. Sentence. My body is the temple of my soul. It has no secrets to me. Going dark, this card is all about the darkness in the body. Culture can, ma can make us take distance from what is our corporality. So many religions and customs, for instance demonize sex in many different ways, lacing it with guilt as an assassin would lace food with poison. On the other side, we are collaborators in cheapening our body, hiding it, being ashamed by it, selling it, giving it away for nothing. It happens when we accept an abusive relationship, when we refuse to respect the body of another, or more simply, when we do things like being too lazy to eat healthily. What? Hold on, I, 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 let me read over this because the grammar just fucked me up. More simply, when we do things like being, like being too lazy to eat healthily. Why didn't they just say like being too lazy to eat good food for you or some shit? Like that, that sentence just messed me up. Anyway, we'll continue. Our body is a temple. It cannot be defiled. We can take a shower, raise our chin, feel proud. It is our body, ours. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you, my love. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, um, mm, apparently, apparently you are recognizing your body is yours, Gemini. I tell you what, my son was going to be a Gemini. Knowing the Geminis, I know. So, a lot of them are, are crazily different from each other. It's like, I don't know if I'd be able to keep up with that kind of energy. Because y'all are energetic little creatures. Here's the energy of the magician. Someone is manifesting. Either you or a person you're dealing with. Geminis and cross watchers. With the situation being the seven of pentacles. Mmm. Ain't that some shit. Anyway, we'll get to that. Now. Wants and wishes, temperance, reverse, obstacle and challenge is the two of cups. Then we have the fears and rejections with the set. With no, that's a six. That's the six of wands reverse. And what starts this shit and how it'll end is a tower moment not happening because it's reversed. Dude's still suspended in the air while the other one's already been on the ground, just like. Ah. Hold up. Mmm. Gemini, I feel like you're, you're, you're trying in all of your power to, um, create something, but it's like, you know, 
Like, the magician's trying to create something that has something to do with the obstacle and challenge, which is basically, like, this two-cup scenario with two people. And there's a fear that there'll be a lack of victory here somewhere. Yet, here's an alchemist down here, using magic as well, to create something off of dead trees. Hoping that it'll bring some temperance thing up, and... Hmm, okay. Let's go ahead and do yours, because, like, yours is like, hmm. Alright. Gene. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Magician. Sorry, Cora. Come back here. There we go. Right. Ah. Well, you get three, so fuck it. All right. So this magician, right, is trying to manifest, trying to create something, sticking his finger in the cup and telling you the temperature. You know, he's that kind of magical creature, right? He's been betrayed quite a bit. He's got swords all in him. He probably had to run away from someone who beat his ass, and now he's probably he, he, he's looking back and is really and is kind of like, yeah, maybe. I was a little bit of a dick. Yeah, I was a little bit of a dick. Like, whatever was manifested just, like, caused something to happen. Drove somebody away, I think. Which I feel like was the intention in the first place. Um, and that might have all been due to someone... Probably not paid attention to how they were acting, how they... Oh, how could I put this? Like, like the, the Page of Pentacles. I always, when he's reversed, he's an idiot, right? He don't get nothing right. He doesn't take the time to study what he needs to learn. He's also a people person, too. So when you deal with him, he's one of these people who, um, when he's reversed, he doesn't have the respect or manners to understand that, like, maybe, just maybe the things that come out of his mouth um, could be ignorant and people could take offense to it. He doesn't think about that. He just... He, he just, he, he, like, or, or, well, it's not that he doesn't think about it. He thinks about it. He just doesn't care. Like, totally in that energy of, I don't care. I'm just going to do whatever. But this is like, he want, he still wants to go in just being like, I don't care. I'm just going to uh, do whatever. This is your investment. Enjoy it. Mm. Okay. The situation below, Gemini and Crosswatchers. Remember, Crosswatchers, switch where you need to because I have no idea what's going on yet. Alright, Seven of Pentacles, this little alchemist right here, is using his magic to cause this tree that's dead to produce pentacles. You can see the blood coming from the tree. Alright, this could be winter and he's making fucking flowers on it like crazy, right? Wow. Trying to produce something that's gonna bring them, like, emotional completion with the Nine of Pentacles, you know. The Nine of Pentacles could talk about having money, and also this is a young empress, but it's also at the same time, it's like feeling emotionally fulfilled with everything as well. Because uh, previously, you were probably like addicted to something, and something new brought about of change, and it was dramatic as hell. Uh, leaving somebody still pining for a love that's no longer there, even though it's been broken probably for a while. Um, this relationship, which I think would have been really good uh, i don't think it would i think y'all would have been arguing for a while but it's like whatever you know like you're dick anyway kind of like one of those things um it's like this relationship ended before it could even take off so now you got your wheel of turning right you're in control of your fate right now so please don't let somebody tempt you into a dark cave just because they got nice legs and they say that they'll probably touch you. Yeah. That might not be the best idea. Do not let anybody convince you to leave your guard for anything. Because I think this person wants you to let go of shit. Well, they might have already tempted you out of there, honestly. Because that was actually reverse shots. It was upright, be different. Okay, next card. Mm. 
was it Taurus? Taurus kind of had almost this exact same layout with character. Like, I can't remember where, but it was definitely like the Emperor showed up with his Nine of Pentacles. I can't remember exactly, but like... Um... What, what am I trying to say? Why? Uh, okay, in the situation, someone's using this alchemy to, to draw something from a dead tree in order to bring them emotional happiness, but it's like... Control. Like, uh, domination. Not in the good way. Not in the fun way, anyway. Let's see, one more. Hmm. It's like you were emotionally happy with the asshole and you can't get over it. Hmm. That's crazy. Huh. Let's see. Wants and wishes, Gemini. Temperance, reverse. Definitely a separation right here. Or you want a separation. Temperance talks about um, coming together with people of sorts. Uh, I always take it, it with the original Rider Waite deck as being almost similar to uh, the Two of Cups. But instead of two people with their cups, it's just Archangel Michael um, playing with cups and pouring water into each one or whatever. Like, it's two people binded as one um, with water flowing between the two cups. And now it's just like one person. You know, that's how I always took it, but now it's like there's a separation. It's no longer meshing. It's no longer clicking anymore, right? Ugh. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, definitely to do with this relationship. It was probably, like, you probably guys still care about each other. Uh, but this was not fated to be. In fact, uh, Archangel Michael's in here, and he's just like, no! Like, period. Like, it, it's not even that it won't be resurrected, it's just, it's not. It's, it is, a. Uh, it is, it, it was judged to be bad, if you will. It's like the Lord came down and said, like, I think the fuck not. Get out now, you know. Like, I think you want to be with this person, but it's like, mm, no. I mean, we could, but no. So the obstacle and challenge with the two of cups, right? Oh, shit, I didn't realize I was there. You know, someone is too busy worried about the cups that didn't work out to notice the two back here waiting for him to pick up. And that might cause someone to want to just go in and start beating people's heads and just run, run, rush right in and, and just, like, clock someone in the back of the neck. Right there. Just drop them, you know? Let's see. Fears and rejections, Gemini. This Six of Wands reverse. It's like either an enemy in the house or having people come against you for some fucked up shit, right? You might be waiting for these people to really not pay attention to you before you escape, if you will. Get away from this shit. Um, you might even go to somebody to help you out. Hmm. Let's see. No, 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 no. No. Both these people have their backs turned. Uh, you feel like you're waiting for, um... Uh, them not to pay attention to you. Yeah. So you gotta act like you, you know, you got like good structured value in like the relationship you have with these people. Because these people are the ones who hung you up, if you will. Or at least that's what you're seeing. Uh, but you gotta sit there and be nice to them even though they make you feel like you're trapped and shit, right? So let's see. The tower reverse, Gemini. 
it, it, everything's avoided. Like the moment of truth moments, unavoidable. And you have your back turned to somebody who has control of everything. Or this empress is all bitter and shit, has her back turned to a person who has control of everything. One of the two. Hmm. Yeah, Gemini, it's almost like you're having a hard time getting past somebody who, um... I don't know. It's like you don't like them, but you don't hate them either, but it's like, this, this guy needs to leave me the fuck alone, or this chick needs to leave me alone, or something. You know. Let's see. So, up top, what comes up? Yeah, now that nothing really comes out to be planned as well as it should be, Gemini. And it's got you, like, staring at people like they're the fucking enemy. All because they look different from you a little bit. It's just like, why are you so weird? And the person's just, like, not even, like, answering you. They're just like, eh. Uh, yeah, we got a book right here. We have the Emperor right here with his little pet. Uh, like, you want, like, in the original tarot, he's looking sideways. Now he's looking forward, because, like, his little ram's there. He's just like, okay, that's better. Come here when I call for you. Alright? Yeah. Might have set up some traps for people, too, in case they did some sneaky stuff. However, St. Michael, like, helped them, like, get off get off the ground, so they didn't get into that trap. You know, especially when it came to this relationship. Like, did someone almost get trapped in something? No, I'm thinking, like, look at, like, this emperor's got a pet, but it's, like, he, he's laying out traps, too. Why? Like, does he think that somebody is, is his pet and he's got to, like, trap him somehow or some shit? I'm pulling off what's two, because that usually makes more sense. You know, like, yeah, St. Michael, like, saves somebody from, like, getting stuck, I feel like, in a relationship if they had to. Like, if someone needs to embrace the fact that the tower, um, didn't happen, actually. Like, it didn't need to get hit again and already got hit. Like, it hasn't been hit at all, but it definitely, like, you know, someone needs to thank their stars that a tower didn't come in the way that it was supposed to. Hmm. Yeah. Because that would have led to a lack of a victory. Okay, I gotcha. Huh. Okay, that makes way more sense. So it's like... Someone almost got trapped in a... I don't know. Like, who would be, like... Um, I don't know. Like, someone knocked him up on purpose? Or someone literally, like, locked him in, a, uh, like, a salary position that, like, they weren't supposed to get, but it's lower than what they should be getting paid? You know, someone was trying to trap somebody like that. Like, set them up to where, like, they couldn't, like, exactly get out of a scenario, I reckon? Speaking of scenarios, the situation down here, dude's all in his feelings, Queen of Cups, she's all offended that there's a fish in her cup, even though she probably put it in there. Um, making excuses over and over why like, they need to be upset over this cup, which, oh, okay, whatever, like, it's your cup, like, you should have been, eh. Like someone wants to emotionally dump their baggage on you, which I will agree is quite annoying. Now we got in the wants and wishes up here. We got this King of Pentacles, right? Now he might be the magician, you know, and he might be the one who's helping to release some shit, you know, with the Temperance card upright. Uh, but somebody wants to run home to dad. Oh, wait. Yeah, he might have been trying to, um, manipulate the situation by letting you go, thinking that, um, you'll come ba running back like you're, like he's the daddy. Like, come to daddy. Mm. You know, like, one of those things, right? It's just like... Like, they released you in order to believe that you were going to come back, you know? But then you were like, <laughs> no, goodbye. Uh, I'll walk away, too. Why would I stick around? So... Look at now, this person's dealing with all sorts of shit in their head, Gemini. And they gotta release all those emotions. 
or else they're gonna keep like fucking up everything else around them. And they're pretty like upset about it too, I'd say. Like literally threw the fish on the sand and then kicked it in the water at that. Uh, throwing the wa all their water around with the cup and like splashing everything. Like, you know, it's water, it's not gonna stain anything. Like it's that's what we use with soap. But still, it's just the simple fact that like he's just sloshing it around everywhere. It's based off the fact that like something didn't work in their favor. Mm. Now, what else with this King of Cups? Empress! <coughs> Dude might have been trying to feed you shit, but you're an Empress. Like, you're a lot more powerful than a King. Hmm. Let's see. Obstacle and challenge. Yeah, you had to go deep inside. Get your spirit animal snake. Get a black dog that just happens to be there with you out of nowhere in order to make something work, right? I actually have to go inside and uh, look at what might work in your favor. Look at what you might have been doing, right? I think. With the fear and rejection. You will shoot anything in order to change whatever because you're bored. And that might actually bring some communication for you. Or it might actually start, like, producing something that you actually needed. It could be with an Aquarius, too. Let's see. Down below here. Yeah, you're going to have to, like, close that door and walk away, Gemini. Greatly. Yeah, definitely. Because both of these cards represent you. You're just... Yeah. Like, whoever this person... Excuse me. Ugh. Whoever this person is, um, I really think they were trying to find a way of keeping you caged a little bit, Gemini, which I'm not sure how that works with an air sign, honestly, but I think you got away from them, you know? Anyway, that is your reading, though. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe, Gemini and whoever else. Um... I greatly appreciate it, but you really don't have to if you don't want to. But it's whatever. Anyway, I will see you later. Bye-bye.